These are my plant propagation. This is my shelf for my propagation on here. This one's a little bit dirty. But as you can see, if I turn it, this one has roots and a baby. I'll turn it back so it's not pushing on anybody. My minis need just as much light. So I rotate them every day. I just rotated them just a minute ago. Um, I have more back here. This plant is an older plant, but it's okay. He's, he's enjoying his best life over here. I have two in this one over here. I'm getting some roots. I got these all for a quarter, these glass jars. These are my African violet babies about to flower. They really like this show. I have more over here. And then I have my little toilet. My son insisted I put a plant in. It's getting roots. And then these guys have roots too. I just started these guys yesterday. These guys also have roots. I can't really pull it out right now and hold my camera. This is a peperomia. I just put it in a glass of water and in, in some water. It's just standard water. It's not anything special about it. Uh, this is a string of hearts. It's grown quite a bit. And, uh, about an inch and a half since I put it in this water. I've heard this is how you propagate them. This is my shelf. My babies. I propagated my Hoya. It's a pink Hoya. I forget the name. But I propagated this baby from a friend who gave me. She sold me some African violets. So and now she's my friend. And she gave me this piece. And it was just this short little piece with this little piece at the end. And then it's grown all these other little, these two little branches. But all this length. In about eight months. Maybe a year. There's more down here. These are my other plants. I rotate them every day with my humidifier. My paleo. I've been working on rotating this shelf. And on the bottom shelf, I sit on the couch here, is my babies. Now, if you look real close, I can zoom in and not do so much work. Um, I have two babies right there that are visible. And then another one right here. And then the rest of these guys are in that process of spitting out their baby. And I have my Thanksgiving cactus right here. And I use that Starbucks cup to water sometimes. And these are little lettuces that I'm working on. I think they're cute. I don't know how far this is going to go, but we're, we've been trying putting them here in this light. So that the light is a little tiny one. It's only $20 on Amazon. I was told anyway. This is my little propagation of my um, Enjoy Pothos. And then this is uh, African Violet I propagated a really long time ago. That's not really focusing on There we go. I created this a long time ago. It's been very slow. I keep moving it around. This is another one I broke off of a plant that I got from Walmart. I have no idea what color it is. So, this is my shelf. It's coming along. I have my orchid. I think it's beautiful. I wish it would flash for you, but oh well. And another orchid that I have. One of my African rods I just put up here because it was just turning way too hard. And so I put down this little light to see if it liked this light better. And my jolly gold little baby right there. And then my flowers. I'll rotate this so you can see the other ones. They're so pretty. This is my first time that this um, Harley Quinn decided to bloom for me since I got her. This one opened up all of its flowers on my birthday. I was very happy about that. It's very summer flowers. This one's one of my favorite plants that I own. It's the most symmetrical. Sorry about that noise going on in the background. It's just beautiful and it's giving me flowers soon. Very soon I'll have flowers. It's very happy here. It's perfectly symmetrical. My dog Pup wanted to say hi to you. Hi Pup! What are you doing? Hi! You guarding us? You're such a good boy. So that's my shelf. All of these guys 
are going to end, end up in this box down here. And once I get those guys out, and it's going to be fun. Thank you for watching.